Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Thanks for joining in today. This is episode two of Real Rotor, and we have quite a bit of work to do today. Uh, so let's go ahead and get right to it. The first thing I'd like to do is go ahead and get the log train headed back up to the log mill. I have decided that we are going to go ahead and take on a tier three contract. Uh, I want to experiment with this, see how it works. Um, also, the nice thing about it is when you take a tier three, I see there's a bit of a bonus there. Uh, so I want to explore kind of how that bonus works. Um, I'm assuming, obviously, that I'm going to do all the moves every single day. So I'm hoping, you know, I'm definitely hoping that uh, that I can get that nice six percent bonus every time. So we'll see. And then, you know, d delivering up to 15 cars of logs a day means I'm going to have to make two runs. Uh, so we shall see how well this works. We've got eight days. It's quite a long time, but uh, definitely excited to do that. So we're going to take Stenzel and take a tier two. Holyfield will take a tier two. Uh, Ella Farm Supply will take a tier three. And think about it, taking all these contracts right now, there's not any cars that are going to be delivered to us yet. These will all take place tomorrow. Uh, but the fact that I had those options for the contracts means that we had already satisfied all of our previous contracts. So that's great. Um, got this one ordered, so we should get a car tomorrow for the diesel fueling stand, which is great. And then it's time for us to uh, head on down to Ella. So let's get the log train moving and then we will go from there. Uh, let's see. Alright, this is us. Temporarily at least. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Everything's still connected? Yes, it is. Uh, ankle cock is open. Okay, we just got a train brake set. Not bad. Uh, there we go. Pump that brake up. Awesome. Definitely uh, really enjoy this whistle when you uh, play it in its low version with that minor chord. I definitely, definitely like the way that sounds. That is fantastic. set on that 20 pounds a little early but that's okay all right I do think that I want to head up to the uh, logging camp and go ahead and remove the fusee I've got up there I want to see if maybe that'll have him move actually closer to where he needs to be so road forward 30 Sure, the switch is thrown, or else he won't go. And check that one; it is not thrown correctly, but now it is. All right, so here's our guy right here. I'm actually, going to make him teleport. We're going to go put him on engine number three. Uh, let's remove that and see if that'll let him uh, move closer when he brings the train up here. So last time he stopped a little bit short. I want to see if he'll move closer. All right, let's map it up, and then let's. Uh, Select him, and let's do a control T so we can teleport. All right, so we do have a bit of switching to do at uh, the sawmill. Definitely want to do that switching first. We have uh, three pickups from the sawmill, and then we have three setouts at the sawmill as well, but we need to get around them. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, pull those three cars out so we can get around them, and we'll go from there. Headlights on, we're all set. What is nice and early today, 6.20, man. Hey, that's why our crew is called the first trick. <laughs> all right, 
let's see, it should be these first three cars. Yes, it is. All right, and everything else goes to Ella. We don't actually have any pickups today, currently, except for the uh, three pickups at the sawmill. So we'll see as the day goes on if maybe some cars finish and that changes. Uh, but you know what? I did remember there is actually one exception that we have one pickup in Whittier. Bring it on back. <laughs> and get a little dunk. There it is. All right, let's hook them up. Uh, let's see, we're going to take the whole train forward with us, but we got a couple of handbrakes to release. There's one, there's two, and forward we go. Definitely took that slack out a little bit too hard. Need to be a little more gentle next time. Just remember though, I wanted to run around those three cars, so actually let's bring everything to a halt real quick. Yep, gonna have to shove back just a little bit, and that's okay, silly me. Uh, let's see. Kick the whole cut here. Give us enough clearance, that'll be just right. Let's get a handbrake set on those guys. could just set it to uh, follow, see if that might work. Maybe it will. Let's see, can I get to it right here? Let's see if I can get to it right here. Nah, I'm being a rookie. It's I'm, in, I'm having to pay for it. <laughs> That's the price you paid for trying to cheat. All right. I tried the cheat system and paid the price. <laughs> if you want to uh, kick the cars, close the angle cock before you make the move. Definitely interested to see how these tier three contracts turn out. I think, I think it's gonna be a lot of good work. I think it's gonna keep me busy. I am a bit worried that uh, it might tie me down a bit and uh, slow down some of my expansion. I'm, just, I'm worried that might be a thing, but you know what? That's why we're doing this. We're trying to figure it out. Learn as we go. It wouldn't be as fun if I knew all the answers already. So take some risks, see what happens. I'm definitely a stickler for good reputation though, so I definitely fully intend to keep my perfect reputation. Let's 
see how that log train is doing. Ah, he's almost there. set we're good to go yeah those are all on the same track let's see Ooh, wrong but definitely want some speed So we'll just set these three on the open track and pull the other three off the uh, the track that's filled up and then we'll, we'll bring those back over here and get them out of the way. Let's actually go check on this guy real quick, see how he's doing. Did he make it all the way in? Let's see, he did. Ah, so yeah, the trick is removing the fusey. Okay. Cool beans. Um, there we go, get back to him. Just in time, perfect. Come on back, get into the lead for the sawmill. A little bit of a downgrade here, so we will keep our speed or actually our regulator down to zero, kind of let the let the gravity take us down. See, we're still picking up speed even though we're coasting. And I know this switch doesn't like you if you come in at more than like 12 or 13, so give it some break. Switch is a little tight also. Um, all right, let's make sure we're live for the open track. Yes, we are, awesome. Definitely going to kick these cars, leave our brakeman on the uh, on the wheel for the first car, and then we're going to call it a day. All right, that should be enough. No, it's not. Too early. There we go. That's better. All right, uh, let's get our adjustments made ahead of time. There we go and send them. All right, got them. We'll just head over there in just a second and make sure to grab the handbrake on that first car. There it is. Important detail. Yeah, right there. There we go. Like clockwork. 
Oh, look at that. $3 for Timely, because I delivered it on the same day. That is what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. There's the bonus we love. Love making free money for doing a good job. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> Ooh, that's a heavy handbrake on that one. All right, let's get these guys hooked up, get that handbrake off, and let's get out of here. So this time we'll actually take the passenger car uh, to Ella with us. That's because our other locomotive is tied up running the log train since that has to make two log or two runs a day. Fortunately, that passenger car is over there waiting for us. Here in just a minute, we'll go ahead and get it loaded. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, catch you guys in just a minute. What we will do is uh, get these cars put back in the interchange yard out of the way and get connected to the rest of our train, and we will see you guys in Whittier. All right, here we are in Whittier. We're going to go ahead and separate from our train. We have one pickup there at Stenzel, uh, the one at the back. So we're going to go get him and shove him back here behind our train, go get him and then go get the pasture car, and we will be ready to go. I decided that I wanted to put that car at the back of this cut because this whole cut is going to go to the bridge site in Ella. And so it would make sense to put the box car at the back so that we don't have to run around it later. But also that would help for when we have to make our return trip. Uh, it's already going to be on this side of the train for us when we bring it back to uh, East Whittier for the interchange. There he is, Reading 182. Got him. Do you think there's quite a bit of an upgrade here? Yeah, you can see it's killing us. <laughs> take off. Actually, not that one. This one. Alright, and then forward we go. So we're going to end up putting him back. So he has to stay. But first, we're going to go set this guy right here. Love hearing that flan squeal taking these sharp turns. That is... Top notch, great stuff. <laughs> All right, let's bring it on back. Just kick him, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. We will kick it. Close that angle cock. Close that one. And now, we'll take him back. So kick this one. Uh, let's see if I remember correctly last time. He needed about 10 miles an hour. Uh, let's get a handbrake on that one. Alright, see if that does it. 
Hopefully that's enough. We'll find out. That's half the fun, though, is, is uh, trying to figure out what the speeds are. Yeah, it's because it's up that grade. Nope, wasn't enough. We're going to have to go get him. That's okay. The speed and the sharp turn really, uh, really axe that opportunity, but it's all good. It's all good. He might actually, he might make it over. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So I need about 12, 12 miles an hour to get him over. That's fine. That's fine. That's how you practice, how you learn. Most things are learned by doing. All right, we'll go ahead and give him a little pushback. It's all right. I, I had a good time trying. I love it. <laughs> all right. Now we'll set his handbrake. Decouple, and out we go. You know what? I also didn't let him clear, did I? Yep. Shucks. I'm going to have to shove him, too. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> That's okay. Hit the brake too early. I didn't think about that switch. I should have. That's all right. All right, well, let's go get him. Give him a little shove. Get him clear of the switch. I still want him at the back of my train, so I'm still going to leave him over here. Yeah, that'll be enough to clear him. All right, there we go. Now we're now we're talking. Let's see, 60 out of 60, that's good. Still got 19 waiting. Ouch, time for another passenger car. I have been debating actually buying another passenger car. I might, might go ahead and do it. Let me see how much we make off the logs today. Because I definitely want to trade in this locomotive for a, a bigger mogul, so we'll see. I think that's what I want to make my first priority. If I have enough to do both, then definitely. But the pasture car might have to wait for tomorrow. If I remember correctly, I did not set any handbrakes on these cars. I just left some air in the brake cylinder. And air in the in the uh, in the line. That's it's not necessarily good railroad practice. <laughs> That's all right though. Okay, uh, hook those up. Here we go. Get those brakes off. Now we need to pull forward and back up to the pasture car. It's actually quite a move. We got to go quite a ways forward and then come back. Four, six. Yep, eight cars to Ella. But you know what? What did I forget to do first, guys? What did I forget to do first? I forgot to grab this box car. Man, me and this box car, man. All right, let's go get him. Silly, silly, silly. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get this train put together. And then I will make my way to Ella, and we got some work to do in Ella, so I will see you guys over there in just a minute. All right, so here in Ella, the plan is to take the cars bound for the bridge and just set them out. That way we can go ahead and run around them. 
once the runaround is finished, uh, we will go ahead and shove them to the bridge. And then we'll back up, reconnect, and push this all the way back to Whittier. So we currently have passengers bound for Whittier loading right now. There's the check-in for the fares. Awesome. Let's go ahead and lock up these angle cocks. Thank you. Thank you. And away we go. I do need to check in on the loggy train, see where it is at, if it's loaded by now. We'll do that in just a minute. Once we uh, go ahead and stop up here at the switch, we'll, we'll see where the loggy train is at. Alright, back we go. We're actually eating up our water pretty fast. We might have to make our way back to Whittier. I really think we'll be alright, but it might be pushing it a bit. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, let's take a moment to go and check on this guy. Get a quick follow here, see how he's doing. Ah, yes, he's ready to go. All right. Uh, orders, reverse. Take it away, buddy. There he goes. So all of our cars that we set out in Ella last time, they are still unloading. This one might actually unload before the day's over. I sure hope that doesn't mean we've got to come back and get it, but I really think it does. Yeah, I think we're going to have to come back and get that car. You know what? That's okay. This will be the first time that we see a waybill uh, expire and therefore turn during the day, but I, I, I definitely want to see what happens. So. I would definitely not be surprised if it meant another trip. I mean, we definitely have plenty of passengers to warrant another trip, so it's not necessarily a bad thing. That was a bit hard. We're good. Um, I don't have any brakes set. That's fine. We'll just back it up. We do have actually air in the line, so we've got to clear that air out of the line. There we go. Get the cocks closed up. Closed up. Sorry. There we go. Decouple, and we are moving forward. Oh no, no, we are not. <laughs> Didn't throw the switch. Silly me. That's that's funny. That's not the first time I've done that. Won't be the last time either. Enough space. There we go. Perfect. These cars are heavy enough. I'm definitely going to go ahead and connect the brake line to them. I don't want to have to travel as slow as I would have to if I did not connect that brake line. to go. Just double check, make sure they're all going to the bridge. Yes, they are. Perfect.
All right, so that bridge site is right around here. If you missed our last episode where we delivered the first set of cars, it was 13 cars to the bridge site. We've got to rebuild this guy being washed out after the flood, and this will give us the line all the way to Bryson, I believe. I don't think we have to repair the actual line itself. Could be wrong there. Let's see. Oh, actually, oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I think that's different. Yeah, this will get us all the way to Bryson. We don't have to do any expansion after that. I definitely, oops, wrong button. Um, I definitely want to expand to Bryson. It's going to open up some opportunities to serve some other customers, get some different trains running, kind of add some mix to the operations a bit. Doing it single player just might potentially mean a longer train, <laughs> but it'll be okay. We can always turn it into a way freight or something, so we'll see. Definitely excited to see what potential... Uh, will come from that. Illinois Central, Seaboard Airline. I don't know the EJ and E actually. AWP. I remember that one. Boston and Maine. NC St. Louis. Yes. I know some of these. Ah, the good old Southern. Our benefactor. All right, that'll do. Let's get these angle cocks closed up. Set a handbrake just to be safe. And back we go to Ella. Yeah, we'll definitely uh, top off the water when we get to uh, Whittier. We'll definitely make it to Whittier, which is good news, but once we're there, we'll top it off. those hooked up get the air in the line and it is time to go let the AI take care of that that way I can move on and see what's going on here Ooh, there's a weird change in pitch from the Doppler effect <laughs> All right, let's make sure he's lined up on the right track. That's good, that'll take him in here. Make sure that the fusee is there, it is awesome. Okay, let's check on the logging train. So here's the deal. Now that I have a higher tier contract, I've gotta deliver 15 log cars. And this is eight, and that's fantastic. But the problem is that the spur where I loaded these can only load 12 cars a day. So the next trip I take up there, I can't just take to the spur and forget about it. We're going to have to take the train up there, put four cars in one spur and four on another. Plus the uh, the other two spurs for the logging camps, they, uh, they don't have enough space to load more than just a few cars. So that means we're going to have to work that train ourselves. But that's okay. I'm probably... Uh, going to have to save that for next time though because 
We are almost at the 30 minute mark. I definitely want to shoot for around 30 uh, minutes each. Definitely want to try to not go over that. Uh, oops, I did not. Uh, I did not select that one. There we go. All right. Make sure I get the right locomotive. I have a real bad habit of doing that. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and set these cars onto the spur there, and we will call this episode a day. It's been a great time. Maybe, uh, maybe for that next video, we'll go ahead uh, and have the other locomotive. We'll see. All right, guys. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for tuning in. It's always good to have you on the channel. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. And until then, happy rails.